But this is um, from New Jersey. Now, they had a plastic bag ban. If you're unaware, we have a plastic bag ban across all of Canada. We also have a plastic utensil ban and a plastic straw ban. It really sucks eating with a piece of wood, drinking with a piece of paper, and you can't even get a McFlurry anymore, Gabe. I don't know if you saw me post about this, but McFlurries now come with a wooden spoon inside of a cardboard container. So obviously that melts immediately because it's like it's just in like a food container. It makes no sense. They've ruined McFlurries and I'll have my revenge one day. Nonviolently, of course, just through song. New Jersey's uh, plastic bag ban actually increased pollution. And, you know, it comes down to the fact that these replacement bags take up more plastic and create more uh, pollution in their creation. So after New Jersey banned single plastic bags, their number of bags fell down by, by more than 60%. This pushed their numbers under a billion, which they actually had like 1.5 billion. While the reduction in single bag, single use bags was evident, it generated different problems. What are you doing over there? Writing on a piece of cardboard? Oh, no, I'm, I'm following the mouse along with the words that you're reading. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. You're reading comprehension like grade six. Uh, that's actually <laughs> Really true uh now you have like a ninth grade reading level so yeah it's all it's right bad. it's bad follow along uh, um while the reduction in single-use bags was evidence it ge- evident it generated different problems including the very same environmental issues that tried to uh, mitigate and let's scroll down to the numbers here um, the emissions increased by 500%. So they measured it just by greenhouse gas emissions, which is very d- generic. You have to imagine it's carbon dioxide. But the problem was they went from these single-use plastic bags, which, you know, are very thin, and they've used, they've they've produced them probably trillions of times, yeah. judging by the fact that New Jersey produces a bi- produced a billion a year. So they're very used to producing them and they're very used to recycling them. And they're, they are now made with a lot of recyclable materials, but these new ones that are non-woven polypropylene plastic, you know, not many people recycle them at all. Uh, they're thrown out after just a couple of uses. It said two to three uses. And when they're made, they emit, they have five, five times the amount of emissions than the regular plastic bag. So the only person, you know, and it also consumes 15 times more plastic in the production and generates five times more emissions per bag. There it is. So um, the only person who's actually benefiting from these is the plastic bag retailers. So the grocery stores. So the study that I'm citing here went on to state that when COVID and lockdowns hit and everybody was either picking up their grocery bags full of groceries, obviously, or getting them delivered, that means they aren't using their own reusable bags. That means they aren't showing up with the big honking bags and filling two to three bags. No, they're getting all these plastic bags delivered, the new ones, the new crappy Walmart ones, if you're familiar at all, which you probably aren't, luckily. And those get thrown out after a couple days into a landfill. They can't be recycled. They cause way more emissions. And because all these deliveries and pickups were increased, all the grocery stores are selling all these bags because they they sell them for like 10 cents or whatever. So they actually made up to $200,000 of profit in just bags per location in New Jersey. That was f- totaled $42 million across the state. So forget, you know, saving the environment. Forget getting rid of landfills. Knowing this now, I can only say, and this is my opinion, and I'll ask you yours, that the reason that they wanted these bands is because they knew that they would sell a lot more bags. Now, the other bags are cheaper. You know, they recycle them. All these other people are getting paid. And just like all the other green energy initiatives, which I call the my trillionaires, not your trillionaires uh, way of thinking, all they've done is change production from these other plastic bags to these unrecyclable plastic bags. So somebody else is getting rich and they probably said, hey, grocery stores, you're going to make a lot more money by charging people for these bags and we're going to say it's good for the environment. Just like the other things, just like greenhouse gas emissions, electric cars, manufacturers are going to make the money. We want them to be the billionaires. The gas people, we don't like them. They're more conservative, so we don't want them to make as much money. I can't help but think that this was known all along, that if all of a sudden we change to a plastic type that creates more emissions and isn't recycled as often, that there's got to be some reason behind that. 
and that's making more money for these grocery stores. How do you feel about it? Yeah, no, I I totally agree. And I think the biggest example that I see of grocery stores like this, at least in America, is Aldi's. Aldi's doesn't give a plastic bag uh, option. You either get no bag and you have to carry all your groceries by hand, or you have to buy like a $3 reusable bag by them every single time you go. And you're not going to remember to bring your reusable bag. Nobody's remembers. Like who, who's going to remember to bring their reusable bag? I remember to bring my reusable bags. I keep them in the trunk of my car. All right. Maybe I'm coping. Continue. But when I bring my groceries into my apartment, I don't want to walk back out to my car. So they stay in my house. Right. Uh, and I only go to all these like every once in a while. But still, I'm assuming like if you're going every single week. Right. You're going to forget at some point you're going to have to rebuy these bags are stupid. Right. Not everyone can be Andrew says. Not everyone can be as smart as Andrew. Um, but most people are stupid, so they're going to be using that money. Uh, and I'm sure that they saw this as a form of uh, profit, most part, for the most part. Uh, they probably saw it as like, a, hey, we're losing money with this. The, we're going to start losing money on people buying groceries because the economy is terrible right now. People are going to be spending less money uh, at the grocery store. They're going to probably be purposely starving themselves to some extent, like, oh, we can't afford this 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 anymore so we have to figure out a way taking that money to have it because i know it's a two hundred thousand profit and maybe there was like a significant profit per store uh but i'm sure that a lot of grocery stores are also getting hit right now because of the economy so i see this as probably a way that they thought was like hyper genius to uh you know get out of that jam that economy has put them in uh, even though you said this started like at the end of COVID, I'd assume that they probably knew, you know, that the economy was going to be bad after COVID. So, yeah, I guess those are my thoughts on on that. Uh, I'm pro regular, just plastic bag. Make them free. All right, don't. I don't recycle mine. I just use mine as little trash bags for mm -hmm. you know my basket in my bathroom. You know, you, you know, my trip to Texas was truly a trip about freedom getting plastic bags we're getting plastic straws we're getting oversized oh, yeah. drinks when we order a small your small is our large and then there's 17 yeah, really? other sizes above that i'd say the small is a little bit bigger than our medium but once you get to an american medium that's significantly bigger than our large i would say okay, okay. well and Whenever you come back down or food places, I know that, like we're not pro fast food, but fast food is good sometimes. It's probably one of the most American things you can do is eat a McDonald's cheeseburger. Right. That's right. So. <laughs> Turn it up, Jordan.